listening to Real Estate Insiders Radio, featuring successful real estate insiders, influencers, and trendsetters, sharing proven tips and strategies to help you navigate the complex world of real estate right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Felicia Phillips-Curtis. Today's show, as always, is sponsored by Prosperture.com, your go-to partner for real estate investment solutions. Connect at Prosperture.com today, and you too will prosper when you buy or sell your investment property. Prosperture.com, where real estate investments produce cash, clarity, and calm. Call 800-5-SOUTH-1. It is your time to prosper. Welcome again to the show. It is my pleasure and honor to be interviewing today Mr. Cameron Dunlap. Mr. Dunlap, I view as a visionary when it comes to real estate. He is what I would term a real estate engineer of this decade for sure. When we think of engineers, I I looked in the Webster Dictionary and it talked about a person who designs, builds, or maintains engines, machines, or public works. Well, this man, Mr. Cameron Dunlap, does that in the area of real estate. He has built, designed, and he maintains some phenomenal machinery, which you'll learn more about during today's interview. Stay tuned. He is also a full-time investor since 1983, in fact, teaching proven strategies since 1995, and hundreds and hundreds of deals are under this man's belt. He has a tremendous portfolio of real estate, buying and selling every day, and it's not just residential. Mr. Dunlap also has hotels under his belt, as well as storage facilities. He designs, produces tools to make his own business easier. And furthermore, once it becomes profitable for him, he then turns around and makes those proven programs available to his clientele. He doesn't have a big business, but I do happen to know he has a great business. In fact, I know that personally because within the next 24 to 48 hours, I myself will be benefiting from Mr. Dunlap's work, closing on a deal with him as well. It's a pleasure to have you on board today, Mr. Dunlap. Well, thank you, Felicia. It's a pleasure to be here, and I appreciate that uh, that nice introduction. I I uh, I don't know that anybody's ever called me a real estate engineer, but if uh, if what engineers do is solve problems, then I'm a real estate engineer <laughs> because that's it's true. That's that's what I do. It is true. I mean, I, I've benefited from it personally, and it, and it's uh, again a real honor to have you on my show today. I can't wait to share with the rest of the world more about what you're doing. Now, let's say that I am not one of your clients. I'm just going to pretend that I'm not, and I'm just going to ask you some questions if, as if I don't know already who your perfect <laughs> prospect is. Who would you say that you helped, Mr. Donlet? Uh Well, in general, we, uh, we help investors, real estate investors, and um, they range from brand new beginners to seasoned veterans who have been at it for decades like myself. And uh, the one thing that they have in common is they're looking to do more deals and make more money. And uh, frankly, right now couldn't be a better time to do that. Uh, the environment is um, the best I've seen, frankly, in more than two decades of investing. There's, there's, um, you know, there's just uh, so much opportunity out there. It's, it's to me, it's completely overwhelming. I mean, I, I have so many deals in the works and and projects going on uh, different properties that, uh, you know, I feel like uh, the guy on the old uh, variety show with the sticks and the plates spinning on the top, you know, and he just runs around and gets that one spinning faster and faster, puts another one up and puts another one up and until, uh, until they all come crashing down. Thankfully, I seem to know just how many plates I can keep spinning. (laughs) Wow. Wow. I'm having a blast. It's perfect. It's a perfect time to be in the business. And um, 
to take advantage of the, the problem-solving tools that we offer, uh, you, you need not be a beginner. You need not be a seasoned veteran. You can be either or anywhere in between. So, uh, uh, and, and by the way, I thank you kindly for your business. You are, uh, as you mentioned, a customer, and you use our systems, and, and uh, we're about to fund a deal for you here that, that's pretty darn exciting. And um, I'm, I'm thrilled because, you know, I feel like I ought to be intervie- interviewing you as a testimonial, but, <laughs> but here we we'll are. We'll do that another time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure we'll have an opportunity as well uh, to do that. But <clears throat> let me tell you, though, one of the things that I hear most, I'm all over the place because I, I travel a lot. I'm actually interviewing you now from Atlanta. And one of the things that I have heard from other investors in Atlanta is that the it is so it's getting it, there, the market is so saturated. For instance, in this area, with investors, that it is hard to find deals. And then I just heard you mention that there are so many deals out there that you know you're just trying to do a balancing act to try to keep them all flowing. What do you say to people of uh, uh, markets like Atlanta, where they have the impression that it's difficult? to find deals? Well, um, I would say that it, it, it is difficult to find good deals right now. There's no denying that there's a ton of competition out there, you know, other investors. It's, it's you know, investing in real estate has once again become the topic de jour at, you know, cocktail parties and whatnot. Uh, where the, you know the bloom was off that rose for a long time. Well, and 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 uh, there was uh, you know while people turn their nose up at real estate, you don't have a lot of competition. You know, finding good deals is easier when people are interested in it. Uh, there's more competition. You've got to be smarter. You need to you know be the uh, early bird, if you will. Right, um, and that's part of what drives me to continue to create tools to help investors find more uh, motivated sellers and to outsmart their competition. So, yeah, it's difficult to find good deals out there. There's, there's no doubt about that. I wouldn't contradict that statement. In fact, I agree with it uh, and, and add to it that you just need to be smarter and have better tools in your toolbox. Well, that leads me to my uh, my next question. Uh, how do you help them? What are two or three ways that you can help them or two to three problems, let's say, uh, real or perceived, that you can solve for them? Well, uh, the first one is we just discussed that there's no good deals out there. Well, there are tons of them, and uh, we have uh, a particular tool that's called the Vacant House Data Feed where we're able to provide our clients uh, verified vacant houses, which categorically represent an opportunity because it's rare that someone leaves a house vacant that doesn't have, uh, and at the same time doesn't have some sort of problem. Now you might have someone like myself who owns a house up north and down south and, you know, so, that's a form of vacancy, but what we do is uh, we, we have a proprietary algorithm that uh, is designed to filter that out. So, you know, the, the sort of snowbird environment, we do our very best to filter out, uh, and we, we pull data from multiple sources to come up with this uh, verified vacant house. And so, you know, basically if you're looking at a vacant house, it's like a crystal ball, you're, you're, and what you've got is a view of an owner who has a problem. Now, not every owner wants to sell, but many of them do. Some of them don't know they want to sell until they hear from you. And the best mm-hmm. part is, speaking of competition, the best part is, you know, these houses are not listed in the MLS. They're not listed for sale by owner. So no one mm-hmm. knows about them. They're not being marketed. And so that eliminates the competition. Right. So, and, and that's one. Another common sort of myth or, uh, you know, uh, roadblock is funding. 
So a lot of people think that, well, gee, you know, if I don't have a ton of money in the bank, I can't invest in real estate because you got to have a ton of money. Well, no, you don't. And uh, we prove that every day by funding deals for our clients, uh, very much like we're about to fund one for you. Um, and we do that uh, in such a way so that people who might not otherwise be able to fund the deal themselves and would therefore walk away from it, they'd have to walk away from it and make nothing on it, can now do deals, be in the, in the business, and you know, make significant profits uh, mm-hmm. because we solved that problem. And in fact, Felicia, you know this, our funding... Uh, the way we've designed it, we literally charge no fees for it. So uh, the type of deals that we fund are typically referred to as wholesale deals. So that's where you buy and resell without delay and without doing repairs. You buy low, sell low to an investor who's probably going to go and do the rehab or may fix it up and rent it or whatever. And those right. investors are looking for, for good deals. So that, that's uh, what we, what's typically called a wholesale deal. And that type of funding, that same day or next day, meaning you know, it, it stays in the hands of the closing agent overnight, same day, next day deals are, are the type of deals that we fund for our clients. And normally you would pay a couple of points, maybe two points for the use of the money. So uh, for example, if, if, if we were funding say $85,000 on a, a, the purchase of, the, of a house for a client, there'd be, um, you know, a, a funding fee of two percent of that amount, which would be about what seventeen hundred bucks. Well, right. with our program, you don't pay that or any fee for that specific funding, which makes us very unique. And frankly, uh, I've been accused of being a disruptor <laughs> with that. <laughs> and, uh, and it's it's very um, it's very exciting. So you might say now you, you, I'm sure you have listeners that are saying, okay, you had me up to that point, and now you lost me because that that's not possible. That's too good to be right. true. But it's not. And here's how we do it: we charge a one-time setup charge of uh, $1,497, and what that gets you is access to uh, three of our most powerful tools. And then the funding and proof of funds, which we provide, so that if your seller wants to see evidence that you have the funds to close, we provide that. So you get three of our uh, software tools, the funding and proof of funds, unlimited use of that, including the funding. We will fund an unlimited number of deals for you for one full year without another penny in funding fees. So any one of those software tools is worth the $1,497 for, to, to have for a year. And then the funding itself is, you know, could be worth who knows how much. I mean, we have, we have clients for whom we fund 10 to 20 deals you know, per year, or we have others that we fund you know, uh, one or two per year, and then we have others we fund three, four, five per month. Right. And so if you take the typical two points on the amount we're funding, I mean, my gosh, we have clients that are saving tens of thousands of dollars in funding fees, um, you know, during that year uh, because of because we we have no fees on the funding. So once you join the program with that one-time setup charge, you're in for a whole year. No monthly okay. charges on the software, no fees on the funding, no cost for proof of funds, none of that. And again. I think that program with the no fee funding being part of it and, and how incredibly complete and comprehensive it is, um, I think that program has a lot to do with why I'm, I'm, I'm often accused of being a disruptor because it's <laughs> that powerful and that economical for our users. Wow, wow. So as far as solving problems go, what I've uh, heard you mention so far is the motivated Seller leads from the vacant house yep, vacant data house feed for data sure. Feed. I've funding. heard you mention the transactional funding. Yeah, I've heard I heard you mention private lending. Um, what about motivated buyer 
leads? If I if I if right. I find my seller, what about my buyers? How, who's gonna buy these properties once I get them? Well, you're gonna be dealing with investors typically uh, who mm-hmm. are you know looking for bargain prices, and so another tool that we created is called the Cash Buyer Data Feed. Cash Buyer Data Feed, and what that is is um, we go out and we scour the public record nationwide, and with a proprietary algorithm, we filter out every transaction in the USA where the buyer paid cash, and we provide that to our users. And what those cash buyers represent to them or you, in most cases, are uh, really qualified, really motivated buyers for your bargain properties because that's what they do. Um, and we okay. again, that algorithm filters out the ones we don't want. So, you know, the the, the couple that just retired and that live in New Jersey and are paying cash, selling their house, sold their house in New Jersey, paying cash for a house in <clears throat> Florida. That's a cash buyer, but that's not the one we want. Right. And right. And then another example would be when a bank forecloses on a property and they, um, they end up uh, taking the property back through a foreclosure auction, a trustee sale or a, or a, um, a sheriff's sale, um, that's te- technically considered a, tr- a cash transaction, but we filter those out too because that's not what we want. What we want are the investor, rehabber, landlord type buyers, and that's what we provide. And literally every month we, actually we update the data weekly, but we count the number of new cash buyers we add on a monthly basis. And it's running right now around 80,000 new cash buyers uh, nationwide per month that are coming into the system. And so- Wow. Yeah, so you could spend days, hours, certainly days, or, or, or a bunch of money trying to collect that data yourself by going to the courthouse or, or to the uh, clerk of courts in your county and, you know, going through uh, their records, scouring their records, trying to find this information where we'll provide it to you literally on a silver platter for 50 bucks a month. And so again, you know, that's, that's another uh, roadblock. I think a lot of investors, in fact, I know a lot of investors are fearful that they, especially new ones who haven't, you know, done deals, they haven't built a list of buyers who they go back to regularly. They're, they're, they're fearful that they won't be able to sell the house. So you go, you make the offer, the offer gets accepted. Now you can't find a buyer. Uh-oh, what do I do? The fear of that scenario is enough. It's, 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 it's enough real. to literally freeze people in, yeah. in place. I mean, they just they, oh, they, yeah. they freeze up out of fear and then don't make any offers and therefore don't do any deals and don't make any money. <laughs> so having I know those buyers... Yeah, H- having those buyers, you know, at your fingertips, just log in. There they are, is um, a real fear killer. Mm-hmm. And you know, on on my uh, my last deal, uh, I'm able to just get, you know, just log in. Quite frankly, to that uh, cash buyer data feed and screen out those with phone numbers. And just quite frankly, instead of even doing mail outs, just give them a call. If you're comfortable yep. on the phone, you just give them a call and say, hey, I got this great deal in your area. Are, are you buying right now? And it, 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 it is a, in a, a great tool to be able to move things a lot faster and to eliminate that fear uh, that you experience, particularly when you're a new investor and, you know, just kind of hesitant to pull the trigger so that that's an an excellent resource now how about now we've got the we've got the buyers we've got the sellers now and and a lot of times a lot of this information can become overwhelming and you need to make sure that you stay organized uh, Mm -hmm. and can track 
communication, track where you are with that deal, the numbers, and so on and so forth. You've got a system for that as well, Cam. We do, and um, that tool is called iFlip, mm-hmm. and it's spelled exactly like you, you, you'd think, iFlip. And what that literally is is your business management platform. And there's an acronym flying around out there now that um, is very has been popularized. It's it's uh, the acronym is CRM. Pardon me, and that stands for uh, Customer Relationship Management. So most businesses need some sort of a CRM in order to function at a high level and be competitive and on their game. And it doesn't matter I mean, if you're a dentist or if you're a plumber or if you're a real estate investor. And so what we did was we literally set out to design, um, and it has evolved dramatically. It's, in fact, we're coming up on... Uh, well, yeah, we're coming up on the 10th anniversary of the hey. original, you know, inception of iFlip. And it has, oh, really? It I didn't know that. Yeah, it continues to evolve on a daily basis. And um, yeah. so you can literally manage your real estate business, keep track of all those details, and, uh, you know, with, with that are, you know, going along with every deal you're working on. And have it right at your fingertips without having to worry about where the file is or where that document is. I mean, you can store documents that are related to the deal. You can, you've got um, all the you, know, you can store comparables. You can, you can, um, you know, keep contacts. And uh, so it, there's a system to uh, remind you a task manager and to remind you to make that call or to send that email or to follow up with that seller that told you no. And then we have, you know. I could spend an hour talking about this. We've, we've got, I won't. <laughs> but uh, we've got, we've got um, an email broadcasting tool so you can send out mass emails to buyers, sellers, bird dogs who may wow. be helping you find a, or um, evaluate deals. You can uh, use our email autoresponder system to automatically follow up. Again, a great tool for that is, or a great use for that is uh, with sellers who tell you no. And, the, the most, I think the most amazing thing about it is, um, you know, it's, it's uh, certainly it's a, uh, it's a web based piece of software. It's us. Uh, it's, we, we call it, or it's commonly referred to as SaaS software as a business or so I'm sorry, oh. software as a service SaaS. And so it's web based. There's no software to load on your computer. So if you're using your, your computer, your tablet, your smartphone, you have access literally at your fingertips to your entire business, no matter where you are. Uh, and that is priceless because now you can accomplish more. You can uh, manage more deals simultaneously. You, you're much more organized. And maybe one of the most important things about it for a lot of our clients is it allows them to do business in multiple markets like you. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're, you are you're are a mover and a shaker, and, uh, mm-hmm. and, I, and I love that about you. And, you know, so mm-hmm. if, that, if you're listening right now and that describes you as well, well, you can plan to move and shake a whole heck of a lot harder when, you, when you've got it. iFlip at your fingertips. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, no matter where you are, you can just pull it up and, and pull up that particular zip code, county, or even in, in address, if you pass by a vacant property and you're visiting a particular area, uh, you can just uh, use these systems, quite frankly, uh, anywhere in the U.S. Now, I, yeah, a lot of our clients I, have discovered that working in multiple markets is, um, is, an, is a very, very powerful way to scale. Uh-huh. Another, mm-hmm. another common buzzword in today's sort of entrepreneurial world is scaling your business. That's where you grow it without, um, you know, you make more money without doing more work. It's sort of like super smart growth. Mm, mm. I like that. I like that. Now, I think, is it true that, uh, and this is insiders, talk in real estate. Did I hear that you have some other new software or something that it, have you unveiled it yet or is it t- still no, too soon we to have talk not. about? 
Okay, all yeah, right. You're, it's not you're, that um, you're sort of in the uh, closest to CAM world, and you know about things that um, arguably you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we will move on. <laughs> no, it's quite okay. I, I, you know, you, you're, you know, among uh, the few that really have the inside track on what we're doing, and you are correct. We we do have, uh, frankly, several new tools that we are um, about to roll out, and um, the, you know, what what. What's preventing us from doing that today or yesterday or last week, frankly, is uh, testing and and um, making sure that you know it passes muster. And uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not easy to please. So, uh, well, that, that's a good thing. You know, yeah, it is. I think our clients uh, benefit from from my sort of uh, uh, you know me being that way. But um, yeah, I mean. Honestly, Felicia, there's never a point at which we're not working on something new, um, and we do have some things we're going to be rolling out soon that are very, very exciting. So, um, Well, for those of you who are just joining in, I am talking with Mr. Cameron Dunlap, real estate visionary, real estate engineer, and at the end of the show, we will be telling you how to follow him and uh, stay connected so that you will become abreast of not only what you're hearing right now, but all of the new programs that he is constantly producing in order to streamline your efforts to make money a lot more efficiently in real estate, where you can, quite frankly, still work your regular job or uh, be partially retired and do this on the side, whichever you choose. Um, it is good to have what I would call a real estate engineer in your back pocket. Now, let me tell you, um, a lot of people, uh, Mr. Dunlap, I'm, it's, it's hard not to call you Cam, um, do have hesitations with uh, working with people in their programs because there is so much competition. You know, the, there's that what did they call it, the shiny object syndrome, where you see mm. one thing, then you go, oh, wow, that sounds interesting, or that is extremely shiny, and then you see something else and you're moving along uh, and not staying focused. Why would you say that folks should be interested in what you're doing and what you have to say right now in, in the industry? Um, well, I, you know, that's, a, that's a, an interesting question because this shiny object syndrome that you referred to is um, it's rampant and not just in real estate, but in general. I think, um, you know, we, we as Americans are prone to, um, you know, just chase after the, the newest, shiniest object and kind of drop what we were doing and, and start something else and never really finish or get good uh, at anything. And, and sadly, you know, I see people who are, who have lived their lives and, you know, are of the age now where they, you know, they've got to, they've got to think about retirement and they're just not in a financial place to do that because they spent their whole life ch chasing the next shiny object. And uh -huh. so on a mic, that's a macro sort of look on a micro look at, it in real estate, uh, I see investors who go to this seminar or that, you know, uh, conference and they, you know, they get the shiny object syndrome and they, they end up with a giant library of training materials and, and, and really don't ever get busy doing the doing. And I think, mm. frankly, I think there are some people uh, who believe that buying the next uh, you know, program is is sort of a way to scratch the itch and uh, makes them feel good enough so that they feel like they've done something, but they miss they miss the mark. They're not <laughs> they're not doing the business. So at some point, you've got to say, okay, I know enough to get started. And for you know, for a lot of folks, that isn't until they feel like they you know have read every book and 
listen to every tape or CD or, you know, video. Uh, and, and, you know, they're just never satisfied that they know enough to get started. And that, that in itself is a form of the shiny object syndrome because you never, you know, put on the, the blinders and focus on doing the doing. And that's what I say. It's, it's time to now start doing the doing. And so your question was, why should these people be listening to me? Aren't I just another shiny object? Well, I am, I guess, if, if you've never heard of me before. But what I've said about to do is create a, uh, a, a, a platform of tools that are integrated and work together so that you don't need to go anywhere else. And literally, right. you've got everything you need with one login that, that you could ever need to be successful in real estate. So my hope is if I'm a shiny object, okay, but I hope I'm your last one. <laughs> and <laughs> I like that. It's yeah. with me that you finally realize, okay, it's time to start doing the doing. Yeah. Everything I need is right here. Mm-hmm. No more no more needing this, that, or the other thing and mm-hmm. putting some patchwork quilt together. Here, in fact, is an integrated suite of tools that all works together and, and provides you with everything you need. Now, blinders on, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And hence, problem solved. Exactly. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. And when I ask you, if I ask, what is your expert ability, or why do they become your customer? What would you say? Problem solved. Um, and why do why do people become our customer? Uh, I think for a few reasons, not the least of which. It, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, I think for a few reasons, not the least of which is that we provide such a, uh, a wide um, range of tools that you really kind of don't need to go anywhere else. That's mm-hmm. one reason. Mm-hmm. 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 Another mm-hmm. reason I think people become our clients is because um, I apparently – present myself as a regular guy that people can relate to and not some, you know, you know, some, something else. And that's mm-hmm. because that's who I am. I, I, so I think transparency is why people become our clients because there's only one version of me <laughs> and it's the guy who right. got umpteen deals going at any given time who solves problems for his clients and who, um, you know, balances his life pretty darn well. Um, and I think, um, I think I, I, uh, I think people like that. That's, you know, it's funny, this question, I don't think anybody's really ever asked me this question the way you did. And I think another reason, like I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable, I'm actually a little uncomfortable talking about that, but I think that's part of it. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. a, another reason is because of the way we, m- me, uh, myself, and my team uh, handle or treat our clients. We are, you said it in the beginning, and I say it, you've heard me say it, I don't have a big business, I have a great business. And the difference is with a big business, it's very, very difficult to get to know your customers on a level like I want to get to know them and I want my team to get to know them. You can't do that when you have a big business. But if you insist on doing that, then you, you can't grow huge. It doesn't work. And you uh, ultimately, because of that customer centricity, um, you become great. If you truly care about the success of your customers and the outcome of their experience with you, it comes across. And we do that. And, that's, and, that, and that flows from the top down. And that's just how I roll and that's how my organization rolls. And I think that's another reason why. And, you know, in, uh, along those lines, uh, one of the things that I have noticed 
is because I've, I've actually attended uh, lots of seminars in real estate over the years, back from 2003. And one of the unique things about you too is that you actually teach your own seminars. You actually are present uh, and conduct yourself your summit that you do across the country. Um, and that in itself is unique and it's a real personal touch uh, that uh, some people who prefer a more intimate um, learning experience really value that. Just FYI. Well, it is kind of, it is kind of unique. Um, and, and again, another example of how you, I couldn't have a big business if I wanted to be the one to do those three day summits. I mean, I can't, there's only one of me <laughs> and, Correct. and I do insist on doing those because, because I love it. I mean, I have an absolute blast and you, you've been there, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm just having the time of my life when I'm doing those things because I know I'm impacting people and, and the response I get from them, you know, in the, in the, in, in the room, it's uh, it's great, and I enjoy it. We don't do a lot of those events, um, but I I teach them myself. So that's thank you for pointing that out. Now you know, on the other hand, now there's bound to be some folks who just decide not to uh, not to connect with you for whatever reason, not to um, take advantage of these incredible programs that you offer. What would you say would be the main reason why people uh, don't? Uh, that's another really interesting question. Um, you know, I've been observing people for a long time and mm -hmm. um, one of the things I see in our country, in America today, is this overwhelming entitlement mentality. So I think people think some, obviously not, I mean, it, there's a lot of people, but certainly not everyone, really think that this, they, there's, they shouldn't have to do any work. They shouldn't have to make a sacrifice. That a big, a, a, you know, that they should be an overnight success. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know what? I, I, I have come to learn that I, I myself am an excellent example of an overnight success that took 20 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, I see this sort of attitude mentality that is uh, really kind of, it's almost like the CDC needs to get involved, you know? Uh, wow. It's, it's rampant, and mm. um, it's very, very upsetting to me. Um, I think there are people who think that uh, success and wealth are bad, and mm. I think as a nation, we've slipped into a place where we look at successful people or wealthy people in a negative light. And um, to me, the, 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 the heart, the very heart of what it is to be an American is that you can, you can achieve whatever you set out to do. That's why, you know, that's, that's what makes this country so great. And I think people have lost sight of that. And I think they feel entitled to um, all sorts of stuff without having to work for it. And so to your question, why would someone not be my client it's because I'm not gonna pull punches I'm not gonna not tell you that there's work involved uh -huh, there's work involved uh -huh, uh -huh, <laughs> and if you're uh -huh, looking a lot. to be an overnight success and literally that happened overnight then I'm not your guy uh-huh uh-huh now tell me this uh, I'm thinking about <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of work involved, and there are some people who just, I'm thinking, I'd, I'd love for this show to be able to benefit those who are having a hard time getting off the dime. 
if there was one thing, um, and I'm going off script now, that you wish someone had told you before you did your first deal, before you did your first deal, I wish I knew if you take a minute or, or two seconds to think, what would that one thing be that would help you get off the dime if you had known then what you know now? What would that one thing be, Cam? Uh, or is there such? Well, you know, when I got started, um, you know, more than 20 years ago, um, I I quit my job and I I I did one deal, made about uh, 12 grand. Quit my job, and I I had a, I had one real estate program that I bought on a television infomercial. I mm-hmm, bought it from a, mm-hmm. a man who is now one of my closest friends. His name is Carlton Sheets. A lot yeah. of people started with his course or bought it years ago and never did anything with it. Mm-hmm. And you know, so I I went into this with a, you know on a wing and a prayer, and um, I think that it was a good time in my life. I was able to do that. I was newly married. My wife had a good job. We could survive on her income. She was supportive of the idea of me going into business for myself, and um, you know the moons lined up pretty well for someone who's step on the dime as you say um today i would my the the thing that i think might help is if you could realize that it's never too late to start and Mm -hmm, you know it's mm -hmm. like the old saying when is the best time to plant an oak tree well the best time would have been 20 years ago but if you didn't, then the next best time would be today. Yeah. Mm. So I think a lot of people think, you know, oh, you know, I, I don't have the, 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 um, the knowledge or the, the skills or the, the, the right, you know, education or my situation isn't, you know, doesn't, uh, isn't just right. Nothing's ever just right. I mean, good Lord, I walked away from a great job, and that was the scariest thing I ever did in my life. Um, and mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. so, and and I think the other thing too is I had absolutely nothing, and nor do I now have anything over anyone who's listening to the show. I am no smarter. I am no. I have. No, I don't have more energy. I don't. I don't have. I got nothing on you. I'm a regular mm-hmm. guy mm-hmm. who is, there's nothing mm-hmm. special about, <laughs> who mm-hmm. just decided to, you know, put on the blinders and go about doing the work. There's mm-hmm. no better time to start than right now, no matter what your situation or your age. The, market, the market's not going to get better. Uh, the money's not going to get easier to, to, you know, utilize. Uh, mm-hmm. The the, the mm-hmm. tools that are out there are as good as they've ever been. I mean, there's just no reason not to start and get off that dime right now. That's good stuff. Now, okay, so now now that you're doing it and and you're obviously doing well, you are definitely my mentor. When you reflect over your career, Cam, what what, what will you say is the most rewarding experience you've had in real estate that when you think about on that experience, you say to yourself, yes, now this is why I do this. This is why I do this. Mm-hmm. Is there anything, is there a transaction, a, a, a partnership, um, anything that you can, and that's, that's from the broadest sense, but it has to be in real estate, of course. What would you, what, what do you reflect back on and you go, wow, now this makes this all all of this sacrifice and all of this hard work worthwhile. 
Is there any one thing that that you could? I think so, um, and it's not. It's 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 one thing that we do very often, and that's when ah, we ah. fund fund a deal for a client. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We when we when we do that, and we do it every day, basically. Mm-hmm. One of uh, one of my team members sends an email around to everyone on the team, and it's mm-hmm. and I've got a pretty good sized team now. And we do a sort of collective uh, high five on your behalf uh, that is, uh, you know, obviously has a profound effect on the members of the team because they see firsthand the difference they're making in people's lives. I mean, when we fund your deal, we know exactly how much you made on it because we Mm -hmm. we have the closing statements to prove it. Mm -hmm. And... I originally came into this business because I hated my job and I wanted to be, I, I, I thought I wanted to be, and I tur- it turned out I, I was correct. I did want to be in business for myself. But then I learned that there's a lot more to life than just being successful in business and, and, yeah. and you know, giving Giving back, I don't like that term. That's that's almost it almost sounds obligat- obligatory. Sort of giving mm-hmm. forward, mm-hmm. giving forward, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. helping mm-hmm. other people get what they want out of their lives. Right. And and the the sort of intangible or certain you know the intangible benefit of that is um, it's overwhelming. It um, you know. I, I go around all day, every day, with this sense in my gut, with the evidence coming through on a regular basis, that I and my team, my team and I, are truly changing people's lives. And that is what is the thing that uh, I get the greatest satisfaction from. Beautiful, beautiful. And just being respectful of the fact that a lot of times, you know, we're, we're trying to constantly, as we're making these decisions to get into, to pull that trigger and, and just go on and get out there and, and start investing and start making that money, we want to have as many free resources as we possibly can, too. That's just human nature. Is there a free resource that you use almost on a daily basis that uh, helps a lot? Um, with your real estate transactions? Do you yeah, have a top um, resource? I, I, have, I have the Zillow app on my phone. Oh, nice. And nice. what that does is you, no matter where you are, you pull up the app and it'll tell you, it'll tell you, uh, it'll give you information about the houses right around you. Uh-huh. It'll tell you what they sold for. It'll tell you if, if you, if you're standing in front of a house that's um, listed, with a realtor, it'll tell you what the asking price is, pictures, the works. And um, I find that to be very, very useful, the Zillow app. Now, cool. you can go to Zillow's website and, and do the same thing by typing in an address. Uh, mm-hmm. The app is mm-hmm. so handy because it's right on, you know, it's in my pocket. That's pretty cool. Now, listen, you don't know this about me, but I also used to work in radio uh, as a uh, radio personality years ago. And uh, back during uh, the time that I don't know if you're a music person, but I'm, I'm switching over to a more casual conversation now. But I was I was playing stuff like, uh, oh, gosh, let's see, uh, Cheap Trick, uh, Donna Summers, uh, Michael Jackson, Prince. Uh, back in the early 80s, and I love music. Do you have a favorite song that motivates you, uh, that kind of gets your blood going, and you say, okay, well, uh, anytime I'm, I'm feeling a little low and I need a little bit of a, a, a kick in the tail, is there any music that, that, that gets you going? Uh yeah, I mean it's it, it's evolved over the years, and here's something you don't know about me. In the early <laughs> '80s, in the early '80s, I too was a radio personality. <laughs> I love it. 
In I college. I was a DJ was college. at my college radio station, <laughs> and I was the business manager, the program director. Um, the everything. And, you know, I was deeply involved for the, for the whole time I was in college, and uh, played a lot of that same music, although because it was a college radio station, we, were, we played more of, uh, you know, not the top 40 stuff. We played what was alternative music back then. Oh. Which is like, um, you know, stuff like uh, uh, Depeche Mode and R.E.M. and The Police. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. All of that stuff, which now so much of it is still incredibly relevant. Um, but, you know, I'm dating myself, as, as did you. So, <laughs> you know, some of that music, some of that early 80s, uh, what was called New Wave back then u2 another one another band that's still oh, yeah, yeah uh boingo boingo you know uh, a lot of british bands that stuff really gets me going um but i'll tell you what else gets me going today from, from a musical perspective i love what they're calling the n- new country music i love it it's this amazing blend of sort of country flavor with um really great rock and roll and um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't a huge country fan growing up because it was a little too twangy. My dog died. My right. truck broke down, you know. Right. Uh, right. But today I, 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 I listen to it a lot. And I, I find that, um, you know, there's there's a lot of real garbage out there musically right now. And it's true. Um, that's true. And I, I'm finding that the the uh, this this new country is is uh, is great. I love it. The lyrical content is. Um, you know, it's not it's not perfect, but it's much less objectionable <laughs> than a lot of other music. <laughs> that's, like, that's a great way to put it and a great way to end. You know, I have uh, had a wonderful time uh, talking today with Cameron Dunlap. He is a uh, today's or today's decade real estate engineer in my book. If you if they'd like to find you, uh, Cam, and find out more information, uh, follow you so that they know uh, what your next uh, the next tool is you will be outveiling that will help them basically uh, reduce stress and and ease a lot more easier uh, make it easier to find deals and manage those deals. How can they uh, stay in touch? Uh, well, uh, from from a social media perspective, you can find me at Facebook. Just uh, search on my name, Cameron, C-A-M-E-R-O-N, Dunlap, D-U-N-L-A-P. That's a, sort of an unusual spelling there, D-U-N-L-A-P. Uh, I've got, uh, uh, we, do, we do quite a bit on Facebook. And then also you could come to uh, my primary website, which is CameronDirect.com. CameronDirect.com, and that's where you can learn about the tools that we provide. Um, and uh, it's, that's that's where you can also sign up for um, what we call the Real Estate Profit Letter, and it is our email newsletter. It's there's no cost, and it's a great uh, source of um, good content, uh, nice. inspiration, and that sort of stuff. You'll also find at my website CameronDirect.com, I have a blog where Pardon me, I'm posting stuff all the time and um, great content, how-to type information um, that we make available at no cost to our clients. So uh, either of those places are where you'll find me. And, uh, boy, Felicia, I've had a lot of fun. I, you know, I've done a few radio interviews here and there. I don't. I kind of shy away from it. Um, you asked me to do this, and uh, as a client, I, I couldn't say no. <laughs> um, and i got to <laughs> hand it to you. I got to hand it to you. Um, you know, your line of questioning was not typical, and you made me think here today, and I thank you for that. Good, good. Um, and it's going to be helpful to uh, our listeners as well. And, again, Cameron Dunlap, our guest today. Please follow him. He is a person that you want to have uh, in your network. That is for certain. As And if you've missed any of the interview, please make sure that you um, replay uh, so that you can get some really, really valuable insight on 
various programs that are available in real estate and some uh, just some interesting tidbits about re- free resources as well. Um, thank you again for joining us, and thank you for listening. I'd like to thank Prosperture.com. Now you know where to go when you want to prosper in real estate, 805-SOUTH-1 or text 678-499-2575. Until next time. This has been another episode of Real Estate Insiders Radio. To hear all episodes featuring our hand-picked real estate insiders, visit us online at realestateinsidersradio.com. 